we're going to make our attempt of Instapot chili. Chances are, if you're seeing this video, it turned out good. So I'll show you what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is come down to the Instapot and hit the saute button. Add a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to add a little bit of butter. Then we got our butter. Then we're going to let that heat up and kind of get a little bit foamy. And then once that gets all foamy, the butter and the oil gets a little bit warm, we're going to add one whole white onion and one whole diced yellow bell pepper. You can use a different bell pepper, but we're trying this one. Oh, if you want to add peppers, you can add those too. We decided not to for this one. So we've got both in here, and we're just going to give them a stir for a good five minutes until it uh, goes down quite a bit in size and is just more translucent. Now we're going to add in about a pound to a pound and a half of ground beef. It doesn't matter what percentage, whichever one you're happy with. So while that's cooking and getting stirred, I'm going to add about two cups. I'm a little bit over, no big deal. And I'm going to add the right amount of better than bouillon beef. So two cups of beef broth. This makes it a lot easier and it tastes really good too. So we'll get this warmed up in here and then we'll get it added in just a second. Once you got everything cooked down pretty far, we're going to add our two cups of broth. Now we're going to add one sixteen ounce of pinto beans. A 15 ounce of black bean and a 15 ounce no 16 ounce of kidney bean so here I have a bunch of different seasonings that I added I'll post a link or I'll just post the description what I used and then the important thing other than that is the one tablespoon of Worcestershire and minced garlic one tablespoon and these seasonings I'll post down below all this is added at this step so we're gonna add our seasonings. And then we're gonna add some diced fire roasted tomatoes. I have the garlic ones, just gonna add that whole thing in there. And then a little guy of tomato paste, but I need to use two hands to get it out. So now we're gonna come over here and give this a really good mix. So this is what we're looking like. It actually smells really good. So we're gonna get mixed up completely, stir it for a minute, and then we're gonna get the lid on and we're gonna go for manual at five minutes. All right, so we're gonna go in the ceiling position, come down, manual for five minutes, and then we're just gonna let it go until the timer goes off. All right, so we just let it cool down for a little bit, and uh, man, it looks really good. I didn't expect it to turn out looking this good. I've tried it. I tried it a little bit again. It's still pretty hot. That's really, really good. Tastes way better than any canned chili I've ever had. So this is definitely worth it. So all you have left now is to dish it up. You can get some things like Fritos and some cheese, some crackers, whatever other condiments you find necessary. But yeah, really good. So I'm going to get this dished up and, and we'll have some so if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. One more thing before I conclude this video is this was an absolute home run. I've had a couple bites and it is really, really good. You gotta try making it. It's super easy. I'll post the ingredients down below for the um, seasonings I used, but man, this is really, really good. All right guys, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.